I mean, I can't... How come back? It's been a bit of drama. Back. Yeah, we had a bit of drama. Sad music, please, anyone? The pineapple The pineapple is, dead. is gone. Rusty Lee would have been fuming. That's Rich, and you just seen. Rich, who you would literally bet your house on Rich. He is the most calm... Is the gov, man. He's oh, one he's of the great. great. <laughs> calm, collected... The Cliff Thorburn of the outfit, the grind. It's just, like, not unflappable. <laughs> and here he is. He's just in a pick, in a fit of peak. He absolutely totaled the pineapple. Is there no way we could R. fix R. that? pineapple. Rusty Lee is going to be livid. <laughs> <laughs> she is. That pineapple turnover cake yesterday. She's been with us a long time, that pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, cake welcome We're a long back. family of pineapples. <laughs> and now it is no more. Thank you, Abigail. <laughs> Clearing out. Poor old Abigail. Look, Thank you, darling. The splinters there. Someone get a shot of that. Someone get a shot of Abby. Poor Abby. There we go. Look, clearing it up. Let's, it, 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 we'll leave it to it. Let's, Let's move it to on. It. Leave it children to head it. back to school on Monday. Uh, the batch lady, aka Tizama Holland, is showing you how to live and pack lunches while saving your time and money with not a hint of a pineapple in sight. I know. Oh. I don't know how we move on from the pineapple. No, I'm <laughs> devastated. I'm devastated. devastated. For all of it. <laughs> So cute. Yeah, so of course we're looking at school lunches. We're all getting back to making them again. So um, I'm going to show you an array of things that you can save some money. It doesn't take a lot of time and make it a bit of a variety. And yeah, you're nice. making homemade food. Ooh, we like lovely. to get involved. You can get involved. Eat oh. away. It These little lovely, bento yeah. boxes are great. Oh, They're, look at that. Your That's kids lovely. are only taking one box. You put a little bit of everything in them um, and they're just really easy. I like that, so you can put a bit of hummus in it, some carrots. Yeah, and actually you can get a lot of these and make them in advance. So the hummus can come out the freezer, the carrots and the cucumber you can already have chopped in in a bag. So you can literally spend about 40 minutes on a Sunday and batch your lunches for the week ahead. And they're still <laughs> lovely and fresh. You never appreciate when you're a kid how hard your parents do, <laughs> well, do this stuff to you. Well, you're rock up. <laughs> so, like, so much love goes into that. And as a kid, you're like, oh, you give me hummus. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We were, we were brought up in the 80s. We just had meat spread and an apple if yep, we were lucky. Yeah, meat spread, <laughs> jam or peanut butter. Yeah. That, was, that was it. Um, where things like pasta is really good to do. You can make it at the start of the oh, week. It time. lasts a couple of days in the fridge, up to about three days. Um, mm. Who are you bringing up? A Scottish Rugby International? Oh, no, 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 this is the ones you would keep in the fridge and then you just put them in a little flask. Oh, you put them in the hot, Or if you want them cold. They come in at seven pence for a portion of pasta. Right. And then about 25 pence if you're adding lots of other stuff to it. So if you're on a budget, Not pasta is a great way to do it. And a bit of a change up from sandwiches as well. And you can just have them sitting there and spoon out what you need. If you think it starts to go a bit dry, add a little bit of um, an ice cube and no, it'll keep it idea. nice oh, and great. moist. Well, so it's yeah. really good. Lovely. Lots of us want to stop with using lots of processed stuff. Yeah. You can make your own. If When I've got the pasta, cooking away. I just say, sometimes this make... is my kind of mum. <laughs> <laughs> but you can just maybe make one. You might make scones, one make, you might make the flapjacks. Yeah. Everything can go in the freezer if it's in a freezer bag. And then you're just pulling out a portion and adding it to your box. Nice. Can a cupcake go in the freezer? Cupcake can go in the freezer really? as well. They freeze really, really? well. Doesn't yep. any no scones, impact on taste your... or anything? Nope. They're oh, really good. Uh, the freezer is a really natural process of keeping things fresh. The main thing is, if you put it in the freezer, not wrapped properly. So if you put it in the freezer like that, that cling film will dry out. Right. You want to get it in a bag. OK. Yeah. Go and get those bags. If you want to, um, it's quite often Where'd when you you're... get those bags from? Because uh, that's just such a good... Because I just wrap stuff quite up. Yeah, Amazon. On the you internet, get those? Amazon. Yeah, yeah. OK. Perfect. Cool. Thank you. And those ones can be washed and reused. Yeah, so And important. instead of sticking with the usual sandwiches all the time, it can be expensive if you want to do sort of bagels and pita bagel. breads. I love these ones. You want, yeah, right? I really Aren't like they? those They're quite thins. Thin. Yeah. They're lovely. Um, nice. It can be really expensive, though, if you're then buying a pack of each. If you buy a pack at the beginning of the month of each thing, put them all in the freezer, yeah. then you can just pull out each stage you want to wrap. Can I just you ask, how sandwich. big is your freezer? <laughs> well, no I'm the batch lady, I've got big freezers. But literally, you're freezing everything flat. So I reckon if you've got... If you're not using your freezer just now, clear it out, mm -hmm. have one drawer and just think it's going to be just for school lunches. And I'm going to go through lots of things that you can put in it. For example, if you wanted to make these little pinwheels... So when my pasta was cooking, yeah. I just got some... Um, uh, pizza dough here, added the pesto on the top, 
twisted Twist it round over. with a bit so of easy. cheese. You can freeze them raw. You can't freeze them cooked, but you can freeze them raw. And then whenever your oven's on, you can just throw a few Bang in the week from ahead, frozen. ready to go from frozen. Yeah, nice. yeah. These come in at like 30 pence each. Now, if you think if you were in a coffee shop, how much oh, that would cost yeah, if you were going yeah, to buy yeah, one yeah. of them. So it really these does save nice, money. Nice. Yeah, these are little pizza pinwheels. Um, so I've just added some sauce to them and some cheese and some... Um, sweet corn and it's again it's like if you were going to do sort of you could do a sandwich one day yeah pasta the next day one of these it sounds like a lot but actually it takes 40 minutes if your pasta's cooking you've made these at the same time and you've put um a loaf cake in the oven then you're pretty much yeah. set for the week you know yeah. with your other stuff in terms of snacking mm -hmm. um you know, a lot of schools are asking for way more healthy snacks, not as much processed stuff. And it, processed stuff costs more money, comes in packaging, so you can make a lot of it yourself. Hummus, I must come back on one time and show you how easy hummus is. It's literally oh, three do. ingredients, it freezes really well. Love hummus. And it's so cheap What's to make What's the three ingredients? One. Garlic, um, chickpeas, chickpeas, garlic, tahini. 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 Yeah, That's and then it. you can use some lemon juice if you wanted wow. to. Um, and, it, and you can just take it out each time. It's I do really love good. Oh, it's great. Um, I yeah. love it with things like um, breadsticks, carrots, I like save it a lot it. of I money. I chocolate, as I see you've got there. So, <laughs> so the chocolate spread, remember you should go for non nuts. So um, non nut pesto and non nut chocolate. What you've done here as well, as well, obviously you've got cheddars and stuff, but for the yeah. most part, this is all avoiding ultra processed food, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Even your yogurts, you can put these in the freezer and they'll keep your um, your lunch the box keep cold. In the freezer. Yeah, really well. They're, if you think frozen yogurt, that's oh, yeah. exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, question. Dermot. <laughs> What's going on um, here? So that's the hummus that you can freeze. Um, and for example, here I've got some yogurt and I've just added some fajita dip to it, and then you've got your own fajita oh, dip. Oh, nice. And it's only a tub of yogurt. If, that whole big tub as well, you could put it in a little tub and you could add some fruit to it. So instead of processed stuff, you're making it really quickly yourself. If you're on a budget, look at getting things like these. Crumpets are really cheap, they're about 20 pence each. Nothing, they're they? really filling, and they're really nice. And these little things are egg bites. You can make oh. sweet or you can make savoury. And they here, I've made, these ones are just like, there's some ham, there's some tomatoes. What do we think? And you oh, just delicious. fill up and put it in the oven, just like that. They pop out, so they're, nice. um, they're freezable. You just put them in a little freezer bag, take out as many you as you cook, want. Cook, it, cook them and then freeze them, right? Cook them and then freeze so them. So how long would that take to cook? That will take about 20 minutes, Great. 15, 20 minutes. I like that for breakfast as well. Oh, yeah, yeah they're really good for breakfast as yeah. well. Um, and again, you're, you know, they sell these in local coffee shops as protein yeah. snacks, and they're really expensive. They're Get so cheap to make yourself. Lovely with lots of cheese as well. And then just talking about saving money on snacks, buy in bulk. Mm. Yes. This is like... You know, a pound forty, and this is seventy-five pence. Exactly. So, and even if you're shopping you online, you'll see that at the top. At the top, it's yeah. so important to scroll down. It's scroll down yeah. and look, and always look at the price, as in the price per like hundred grams that it gives you, because that's a really good indicator yeah. of the price in it. Such because it's the same here, like that's way cheaper than this yep. is, you know? So you may as well, if you if you know your kids will like it, then go for that. Go for things like crackers that you're just taking a few out. Anything that's been placed in a packet and made into two or three is going to be the most expensive mm. that you can buy. Yeah. But just buy your own. Grab and also, go drop stuff. brands. Let's go back to basics of like, if you're Ooh, doing bento not, boxes, right? then it doesn't matter. Nothing's in the yeah. packets. Nobody knows what the brand is. No, custard creams can do no wrong in my Oh, life. custard <laughs> creams are the best. Um, Philadelphia, dropping a brand. This one is double the price than this one is. It's still cream cheese. You're just putting on a sandwich. It tastes the same. Yeah. And then in terms of if you're doing um, drinks as well, most schools now are just asking for water, but there are a few schools still allowing juice. Juice boxes are really expensive. They've got a lot of sugar in them and stuff like that. A little bit of diluting juice or just plain water yeah. in a that flask. Sense. These flasks are, metal ones are great because they keep cool. Yeah. They naturally keep it cool as well. Um, and if you've got a few things that you've pulled out the freezer, you can put them straight into your um, packed lunch box still cold. And then it's going to keep it cold. Brilliant. So going forward in the summer. Thank, thank, thank you, you so much. So much. You're so more than welcome. Thank great. you. Uh, don't go anywhere. Just a moment. Catch